Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how to search PubMed to locate systematic reviews and meta-analysis. We'll also talk a little bit about some more advanced searching in PubMed. I'm starting on the Communication Sciences and Disorders Research Guide that we created for the program, and I'm going to click on the Find Articles tab, which is on the left. On this page, you have a list of different databases that we recommend that you could possibly search um, to locate journal articles, including systematic reviews and meta-analysis. Um, so today we're going to start uh, with PubMed. So always be sure to access PubMed either through the CSD Research Guide or through the PACE Library webpage. That will allow you to connect through to the full text articles that the PACE Library can provide for you. Now when you land on the PubMed webpage, I would recommend that you log in to your NCBI account, which you should have already created. So if we log in, you can see now that I'm logged in, that will allow me to save searches or save articles, um, which I can retrieve later after this search session has ended. So I'm going to do a very simple search and dysphagia, as we talked about um, in the previous class, uh, you can start with a very simple keyword search and PubMed will do a lot to try to find um, the best articles for you. So this very simple keyword search finds over 68,000 results. And if we want to see exactly how PubMed interpreted this search and what they did, we can click on the advanced link, which is located below the search box at the top of the page. This takes us into our search history. And you can see here's our search that found over 68,000 results. And if we click on the little chevron or the little arrow, this shows us exactly how PubMed PubMed interpreted my, my very simple keyword search. You can see that PubMed did find a MeSH term slightly different than the keyword that I typed in. So this is the official MeSH terminology for this particular concept. It's also searching for it um, as a keyword. That's what all fields means. It also is searching for the keyword that I did type in. So you can see that it did a lot of work behind the scenes. It was able to find the official MeSH term for my concept. It's also searching for it as a keyword, which is good. Um, we want it to do that because um, as new articles are added into the PubMed database, it does take a little bit of time for the MeSH terms to be applied. So um, sometimes it's good to search for your term as a keyword and then also as a MeSH term. That way you try and catch as many of those articles um, as possible. So that's still a lot of um, a lot of results. We can certainly narrow this down. And one way that we can narrow it down is by um, actually going into the mesh terms, the mesh terms database and searching for our term and then only searching for it as what's called a mesh major topic. So the articles in the in the PubMed database, somebody has actually looked at, decided what is it about, and they assign the mesh terms and then specific ones are tagged as the major topic of the article. So that would mean just that, that it is the whatever that term is, is the major topic of the article. So I'm going to click on the PubMed.gov logo. That takes me back to the main PubMed page. And then I can scroll down and under explore, you can see that's where I'm getting the link to the mesh database. So now I'm searching the mesh database. So I'm not searching PubMed for articles, I'm searching the MeSH database. And you can see that it finds my MeSH term. This is what we saw in our search before. And if I click on this MeSH term, I can read the scope note, which is the definition for the term. So I can confirm if it's the appropriate term. There are all these subheadings. I could limit my search if I wanted to, but at this point I'm going to only restrict to mesh major topics. So you see that this little checkbox right here, this is going to tell PubMed retrieve the articles where this term is actually the major topic of the article. So that should help to focus my search um, a little bit. So now I need to add to search builder over here on the right and you can see that it's put my my mesh term or my mesh phrase here and you can see that it's labeled with the abbreviation for major topic. And now if I click and search PubMed we should get some fewer results. And we do, we still have a lot, so 38,000. However, these articles has, have all been identified with um, dysphagia as a major topic based on the MeSH heading.
So I'm going to use the filters on the left to do a little bit more narrowing down. So I'm going to click to limit by publication date to the most recent five years. And you can see that took me down to 6,000 results or so. I can also use the article type filters on the left to search only certain article types, certain types of publications. And you can see systematic review and meta-analysis are both included here. And these are really top level, um, high quality evidence articles that you'll want to look for. So I'm gonna click on systematic review. That took me down to 221, that really took it down. Um, I'm also going to click on meta-analysis. That took it back up a little bit to 275. So now we have these articles, mesh major topic, published in the past five years, uh, which are systematic reviews or meta-analysis. Okay, so we've got all of these articles that we can now start to take a look at um, and browse through. We can click on the title of an article and learn more about that article. We can read the abstract. We can see exactly how this uh, systematic review or meta-analysis was conducted. Um, in a systematic review and a meta-analysis, they are reviews of existing research studies and existing literature. Um, so you can see that a literature search was performed by two authors in consultation with a medical librarian. Um, so this is telling us exactly where did they search. They searched in PubMed and Embase, they searched in Google Scholar. So that's where they searched. They're trying to find studies um, related to an intervention that they are researching. And then they look at the results of those studies and they decide um, if certain interventions are, um, are going to be helpful or not. So that's the evidence that, that they're producing. And you, if you want to access the full text, you know that up on the top right is this search for item button. And that tells us whether or not we have it in one of the PACE databases, which in this case we do. We have it from Sage, so we can click on that link and it should open the article in a new tab for us. And there it is. So I'm gonna close Sage, I'm gonna close search for item. And there I am back at my PubMed results. So I'm gonna go back to my search results. And um, I do want you to see, so say that some of these are, are good articles or good reviews that I've decided I want to save for later. Um, so I can click and, and mark those. And then at the top, you can see there's a few different options here. You could email a list of articles to yourself if you wanted to, or you could send to your collections, which is part of your My NCBI account. So if I send to collections, um, I can add to an existing collection and I already have a few, or you can create a new collection. So if I create this new collection and click add, now I can see new items were added to your collection. And I can see that by clicking, um, clicking to go to my NCBI dashboard. And now I can see that over here on the right, these are all the collections that I currently have. And there's the one that I just created. So there, I also have saved searches over here on the left, um, but here's the collection that I had just created. So I'm gonna go back into my list of results. And um, so, this, so this list of results, like I said, so it's 275 results and these are systematic reviews or meta-analysis. Now you can save them to collections in your NCBI account. You can certainly do that. Another option is um, you could save certain articles into a spreadsheet. Um, I did put a link on the CSD research guide where you can download this spreadsheet in Excel or you can access it in Google Docs and you can make a copy of it for yourself. So this would be another place that you could kind of log and keep track of different research studies and then as you go through and you look at your list of studies that you've collected, uh, you could decide which are the ones that you're going to use for your own practice or your own research. So it, you know, it is a matter of kind of going back and forth and um, copying and pasting from PubMed into, um, into the spreadsheet, but you can certainly do that. So you would wanna copy the citation. So if you click on the article title and you're viewing the article information over on the right, there's this button that says cite um, and you can switch to APA format and you could just copy that citation and then you could paste it into your spreadsheet. You may have to um, wrap the text 
There you go. So it displays a little bit better. And then you could say, okay, what type of study is this? Uh, you could summarize the results. So for your own quick reference after today, you could see that. You could put today's date. You could say which database you searched. Um, that would kind of remind you, like, where did you find these different things? Did you find it in PubMed? Did you find it in another article or another database? Um, it's good to keep a log. You can either do it in an Excel spreadsheet like this, or you can, of course, do it by saving things to your My NCBI account. Um, it's really up to you how you prefer to do that. So um, this video showed you how to search PubMed, limit your results to just systematic reviews and meta-analysis. And we also went to the MeSH database and we searched for our our concept, our keyword, and we searched it and limited it just to the major topic of articles because we were so overwhelmed with results. Um, so that allowed us to focus our results in this search. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to go to the library homepage at library.pace.edu. You can click on Ask a Librarian, or uh, you can always post in your Blackboard course show where. Um, Usually there's someone there who can help answer your questions as well, but please do feel free to go to the library homepage, click on the Ask a Librarian button, and someone will be able to answer your question.